Ladies and boys and girls, in this video I will show you how to animate like Hughes and Gold in Premiere Pro. So first we are creating this smiley animation and second we are going to create this number slide animation and finally we are creating this 3D zoom in animation. So let's get into the video. First go to new item, sequence, horizontal 1080, vertical 920. Add a video into the timeline. Go over here and select this ellipse tool. Create a circular shape like this. Go to effect controls under shape and check fill and check stroke. Let me increase the stroke with 30. Go to effects and add basic 3D. Under basic 3D, adjust swivel and tilt. Let me create a copy of this layer. Hold Alt key or Option key, drag it on top. Nest these two layers. Let me set a keyframe for position. Go a few frames forward and position up. Double click on this in a sequence and change circle color to right. Now I'm going to add an image. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and white to red. Set keyframe for position. Go press forward and position up. Under opacity, select this rectangle mask tool. Create a rectangle mask shape like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward and adjust the mask path like this. Now go to add another image. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and white to green. Place this layer over here. Set keyframe for position. Go few frames over and position up. Under opacity, select the rectangle mask. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames over and adjust the mask path like this. Adjust the mask further. Let me cut the next sequence. Double click on it and change fill color to green. Set keyframe for opacity. Change opacity to zero. Delete the unwanted portions. Select all the layers, right click. Yes, layer. For the second scene, use the type tool and go to add a test. Under test, fill color, change all to linear gradient. Go to effects and add a basic 3D. Set keyframe for distance to image. Increase the value a little bit. Go few frames over and change distance to image value to zero. I will also set a keyframe for position. Place it to the right and slightly down. Go few frames over and place it in the middle and slightly up. Go again few frames over, push the right and slightly down. 
Go if you press over and change the distance to my value to 0. Set keyframe for opacity. Change to 0. Go if you press over and opacity 100. Create a copy of this layer and change test. Place it over here. Create another copy and place it over here. Change the test. Delete the unwanted portions. Now I'm going to add film burn video overlay. Go to effect control, change blend mode to screen. Now for the third scene. Before that, if you find this video useful and if you want to know how to edit these viral reels in Premiere Pro, consider subscribing to my channel. With that being said, so let's get back to the video. So let me add this grungy video over here. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Add basic 3D, adjust swivel and tilt. Create a copy of this test layer. Place it over here. Set keyframe for scale. Go few frames over and increase the scale size. For the second test, I will set a keyframe for scale over here. Go again a few frames over and increase the scale size. I will also adjust the position. Let me add some images, place it like this, nest these layers, adjust position and scale over here. Set keyframe for scale, go few press over and increase the scale size. Let me set a keyframe for position over here, go again few press over and adjust the position like this. Add Gaussian Blur, set keyframe for blurriness, increase the blurriness amount, go free press forward and change blurriness to 0. Let me adjust the value of swivel and tilt. Under this audience test layer, let me adjust the value of swivel and tilt. Select this rectangle mask, create a mask like this. Select 
set keyframe for mouse path go free press over and adjust the mouse path like this double click on the synthesis sequence set keyframe for position press it to the left go again for your friends over position to the right Now I'm going to add a mouse pointer image and a close mark image in timeline. Select the close mark image and go to effects and add tint. Change map black to and map white to red. Set keyframe position, place it to the right. Let me delete the armor portions. Go to new item, adjust my layer, place it on top. Go to effects and add a post rise time. Change frame rate to tool. Yeah, and that's the reason, boys and girls. Here is the another video of Houston Gold animation in Premiere Pro. Check it out. And if you want to know how to make this AI animation like in C, do check out this video right here. And if you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.